Hello everyone, this is Eve again. I hope everything went well with your week one lessons and assignments. Please don't forget to email me or uh, stop by the reference desk on Wednesday mornings from 9 to 10. That's my office hours. If you have any questions or concerns about your first week's lessons. This week we're um, going to follow again the same patterns as we did last week with readings, homework quizzes, and then a discussion post. This week we're going to be talking about um, searching more effectively than we usually do. Um, everybody now, of course, searches Google or Yahoo or Facebook or whatever you do to do your searching to find information. Um, but I think there's a lot better ways that we can search, especially for research when we're trying to find specific things about specific things for academic classes. So um, that's what we're going to spend some time on here in our lecture. And then, of course, that information will be included in the quiz. The big thing we're going to start talking about really in depth this week, because we touched, about it, touched on it a little bit last week, was about citations. Why are they important? Why do we do it? Why do we care? Um, and that's going to be a theme throughout the rest of the class. And again, your final project is um, many citations. So this week you're going to take the Noodle Tools tutorial so that you can um, learn how to create citations. Uh, our discussion post is on why citations are important. And then you're actually going to create a citation for one of your assignments as well. And again, you as stated in the tutorial, you do not have to use Noodle Tools. I highly suggest you do. There are other examples of citation software in here if you're uh, having a hard time getting a uh, Noodle Tools account, which you do have to do. You can use other citation software that are listed here again, or you can stop by the reference desk and all of us there at the desk can help you set up your account if you're struggling with it. And one just last nod to this week's um, work. I'm going to go into our understanding primary, secondary, and tertiary information sources a little bit, if it will open for me. Um, this video down here is really um, a great example, I think, of why primary and secondary sources are important. And it's not, it is about baseball, but if you don't like baseball, don't worry about it, you'll still get the point. I think it's a little fun and it's a good way to explain to people why um, why we need to know about these things, especially in this day of sort of uh, fake news. So anyway, that's our introduction for the week. Uh, please let me know how things are going and I hope you enjoy. Have a great week.